Welcome to Probably Nothing, the IOTA news for the last few days. I'm Alexander. I'm running out of intro ideas. Here we go. IOTA content creator DAO have been looking for your suggestions for a name for the site for the last few weeks and you delivered. If you have any other suggestions, please post them on Twitter or Discord and the top four will be drawn. Also, the one from the last proposal that they are looking for two content creators and fund them with $200 is through and now they're looking for these two projects. Maybe, probably nothing. Feel free to vote for me on Twitter if you think I'm the right one. Shortly after the release of the last episode, the IOTA Foundation came out with some awesome news that wasn't through the roof enough for my taste. Log in with IOTA. Fox, this is what the whole world is waiting for after all. The IOTA Foundation has teamed up with Vault ID to present a solution this year. The old login system in example web 2 and the new web 3 should be possible. Let's hope the ATAS also hope. Wink wink. Today on the 3rd of August there will be a live discussion at the Frankfurt School. The topic is AI and blockchain. The whole thing is free for all. Marianne de la Roche is representing from the IOTA Foundation. CoinMerge lists IOTA on their platform, but it's not a native token, therefore rather uninteresting. They should get back to us when they list IOTA in Shimmer properly. Dom often writes that you should build and now a group is on Twitter and says, yeah, we heard you and we built. The talk is about loyal and you probably know it from the Hamburger Augenblatt, Hamburger Journal and ARD. On the homepage you can't find anything specific about IOTA or Shimmer, so what exactly is in it, I can't say at the moment. But the principle behind Loyal is interesting. It's about a digital stamp card according to the participle of it 10 times get 11s for free. Let's see what they do with IOTA in the future. The IOTA roadmap has also been updated. After all, there are some pretty impatient people out there who need a roadmap like this. I say to you, relax. You never know what will happen and in the end you will only be disappointed. But the third in December it will be ready. It doesn't mean that the project don't need time targets. Otherwise you'll never finish. But to insist on it and take it at the non plus ultra is ridiculous. What is much more important than any data is that they have presented a guide for integrating Shimmer. This will make it super easy for any exchanges to integrate Shimmer rather than the roadmap. Insist on the updating the exchanges. The interesting thing is it's really copy and paste stuff. Any exchange could do it in a day. And with that there is no more excuses from exchanges not to integrate Shimmer. Landex releases their light paper in the new version and there's no more outcry. Any comments from your side? The Firefly Shimmer beta wallet has gotten a few updates. So as explained in the last episode, the minting of tokens was presented. It's so simple that you can't tell anyone. For this, I called you guys on Twitter to send me your tokens and here we have a few. Poopcoin, Iotana, Infinity Token, and my favorite, Catcoin. Thanks to all submissions, the creation of new tokens, as you can see, is more than simple. But it's doubtful whether this will also be in the final version. But the principle should make clear that is definitely the future. Sandtangle.io is also shown the NFT marketplace and of course without any fees. For that you need Metamask. It works as easy and natural as Sooniverse. After a long time, Soon Labs reports with an update. All updates can always be checked out at when.sooniverse.com. The update includes buying Shimmer with IOTA or the other way around. Further, everyone can create and mint their own tokens and even trade them. But don't forget that they are only all test tokens that have no value. Also, a bunch of fixes and updates have been added like reworking the payment processing, reworking the UI for mobile users, new translations and reworking and even more. You can read it all in the blog post which is linked below. Also IOTA B, which has been providing us with a lot of interesting news the last few weeks is picking up right where they left off. They are also publishing a blog post about the multi-chain and its importance. And according to the picture, the multi-chain is indeed the best thing that can happen to us. Will you be using IOTA B? They also showed another glimpse of the possible assets. The team is really on fire. Smart Contract set a meeting which you can watch on YouTube. 
Rome found something nice on Twitter. Epsi has confirmed certain wallets and one of them is Wallet ID. As mentioned above, Wallet ID is working with IOTA on a login facility. So Wallet ID is compliant with all EU standards and this also means that IOTA is doing a good job and being compliant. Antonio, our community father, has started a node installation party for the Shimmer node. So if you want to install a node to test and try, feel free to set up a node one-to-one -one with Antonio here. I'm kinda excited how he pronounced Grafana. A small service tweet for all who program on Shimmer and would like to send their projects through a security audit. Audit One now offers something like this for all with a discount even. The next video with Bankless was also published. This time with the Cardano project Catalyst. Also this time is super interesting with lots of numbers and examples. If we as an IOTA community create just a fraction like Ada and Ava, then this is going to bomb, IOTA is going to explode. But this time for real. Let's get back to Firefly, that got an update. So if you had any display issues, an update might help here. And the Shimmer beta app also got a small and interesting update. In the first 24 hours over 1250 different tokens were created, that's just insane. And last but not least, Fiobex also released an update 1.2.0 with many new features and a few improvements. If you want to keep an eye on exchanges holdings, you should definitely check in here. What I've noticed in the last few days and weeks is that many people always ask about the Cordy side and then are disappointed when you don't give them an exact date. They come in on Discord or Telegram and then disappear just as fast as they come. Last week's Stardust was released, an incredible leap and opportunity for many projects and then people look at the Cordy side. The focus should now be completely on Shimmer and Stardust. The many projects that will come with the updates now release so much news, you can't not miss it. For all the impatient ones out there, one step at a time. The IOTA Foundation is delivering immensely and anyone who doesn't see that has only themselves to blame. All of you who see IOTA as that have a status from 3 or 4 years ago. Since then it has done so much that you just have to reread if you are out of the topic. There are still one or two out there they only see black and are pulling many others down with it. Don't let that scare you. Just because they are unhappy doesn't mean you have to be too. Look at Sooniverse. There you have the best example that IOTA works and better and cheaper than all other platforms of cryptocurrencies together. And the price and CMC does not reflect the true value of the project either. The market is unregulated and completely manipulated. If you still think that IOTA is dead, you should listen to the Monaco podcast. Watch IOTA weekly or monthly or probably nothing and you will see what kind of development IOTA is putting down. It's not like we are inventing it all and creating it ourselves with Photoshop. Now with the super news with the login with IOTA. This is an awesome news. With that you can pick up all the people of the world. That's a springboard of adoption. The market screamers who are screaming for use cases with IOTA. There you have it and even with the EU as a partner. I do realize that if my pockets are full of Ethereum, I won't stop at 300 fees because that's my currency. And if people thought rationally and not emotionally, they would invest in and value other projects even they have put 90% of their money elsewhere. That's it folks with this episode. Thanks to everyone who supports and watches probably nothing. Thanks to the great Patreon supporters Big thank you, big thanks to you and the many people who delightly give likes, comments, be it on YouTube or Twitter. I do it for you. Until next time. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.